Welcome to U Electrical YouTube channel and I am Pritam with you. First consider a three phase synchronous motor having two rotor poles NR and SR then the stator will also be wound for two pole NS and SS now we provide direct voltage to rotor winding and a three phase AC supply provide to stator winding and uh, stator winding produce rotating field that is rotating at synchronous speed around the stator winding and the direct current sets uh, two pole in uh, rotor winding NR and SR now suppose at any instant of time stator poles NS and SS at position A and position B it is clear from the picture that NS and NR ripple each other and rotor trying to move this direction that means anti clockwise direction but after a half cycle that means uh, we provide here three phase sub consider 50 hertz 50 hertz three phase supply we provide so within one second it complete 50 cycle that means this is a full cycle this is a full cycle this is a half cycle like this it complete 50 uh, cycle then within one second it will complete 100 half cycle so one half cycle take time one second by 100 equal to 0 0.01 second that means it is too fast so here uh, full cycle means ns rotate just rotate 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 when comes here then it will call a full cycle when ns just come here that's called half cycle now after a period of half cycle that means this one ns come here but in rotor its pole not change first half cycle rotor pole is there nr is there and also second half cycle NR also there in uh, stator winding the pole is changed this NS this NS come here so now from this picture that is clear that NS and SR these two pole attract each other so rotor trying to move this direction that means clockwise direction stator poles change their polarities in every half cycle that means in each 0.01 second but rotors pole not change their polarity due to this in every first half cycle the stator and rotor pole ripple each other and just next half cycle they attract each other and vice versa due to this condition and rotors high inertia synchronous motor unable to self start
Thank you. 